most of you will know by now the importance of a skirting board or architrave. Skirting boards protect the walls from damage and can help make your home stand out. The architraves do a similar role, but this time they help to make your door stand out. However, there is another part to the story. You see, while people can make their houses look the way they've always wanted, the finishing of the skirting boards hasn't changed that much. Not only are most skirting boards painted white, which is the norm, they are also finished in a gloss white paint. The gloss allows both the skirting and architrave to shine and enhances their look. While this is a nice gesture, most people don't know of the other finishes that can be applied to skirting boards or architraves. To start with, let's go over the common aspects of what most people will receive when they get either their skirting boards or architraves. Unprimed finish refers to a piece of skirting board or architraves which are uncoated and unpainted. Essentially, these are pieces of wood which have a profile and nothing else. Now, unprimed finish is only beneficial in two ways. One, it allows for quicker creation and delivery times if you were to order one of these online. And two, if you know how to paint skirting or architrave already, this can save you some money if you wish to do it yourself. You may also want to do this if you wish to do it in a finish that's different from gloss paint. Otherwise, unprimed finishes are not recommended as it can take more time to get the items fitted within the home and most people will have to pay extra for a builder to paint and fix the boards in the home. All of this explains why a good chunk of the public will lean towards prime finish rather than unprimed. Prime finish refers to a piece of skirting or architrave getting coated in white paint. This allows for a much smoother finish than an unprimed piece and will protect it from certain elements such as dust and dampness. As mentioned before, although the prime finish is beneficial, it's not the end of the process. Now let's get into the different finishes that can be applied. Gloss paint allows for a shining effect which helps make the boards more attractive and professional looking. The paint has other advantages too. It's dust and moisture resistant, thus minor spills and dust will not spoil the look or the finish of the boards. This allows for people to clean their skirting without too much hassle. Gloss paint is cheap, it's readily available and even if you scrub your skirting boards or architraves, it will not come off easily. White gloss paint will work best on white skirting boards or architraves. Satin finish is a little different compared to white gloss. The process is the same, two coats of prime finish. But once the final finish is ready, this paint is more water-based than the gloss finish. It also gives more texture than the gloss finish and has a velvet look to it. This can really benefit some of the more detailed designs such as the London skirting board as it will give the profile added texture and detail to an already detailed skirting board. The satin is quite common in homes in the UK. This means replacement paint is not a problem and is quite cheap to buy. Although the satin has a more interesting look than normal gloss paint, it is not as resilient. It's more prone to scratches and it's not as dust or moisture resistant. Also, it's not as cheap as white gloss paint, but if you want a different finish and you're careful with it, the satin finish might be the one to consider. The eggshell finish is quite interesting. Again, like the other two finishes, the eggshell has two coats applied to it in the same way as the other two paints. However, this time the difference is, once applied, the skirting and architraves will now have a matte type look to them. Because of this, the shine or gloss look of the other two paints will be gone. Homeowners are starting to love this look as it allows the boards to blend in with the surrounding environment and still look the part. The other benefits include the chance to repaint the skirting board or the architraves should the old paint start to fade. You can also do this with the other finishes, but these will degrade as you continually repaint them. The eggshell will allow you to paint it over and over and will allow the new finish to be presented in all its goodness. While the eggshell isn't very common now, if it keeps getting recommended at the pace that it's going, it could be everywhere, just like the gloss paint. And that concludes our video. Hopefully you found it useful and insightful. And until next time, we will see you in our next video.